Hi friends, today we will be seeing JK flip flop. So just FF I have wrote previously also. So for this JK flip flop, J is input and K is input and one clock will be present. And same everything is same in JK and SR. Instead of one one condition, previously we got in one one condition it is as a high impedance state. Now we will be getting 1-1 one one as toggle state. So that's the difference. That's it. So let us finish it off. Similarly, JK here. Um, it is 1 down to 0. Previously we have written there also. Similar kind of thing. Now here also we are doing the similar kind of thing here. So it is JK is 2 bit. We have taken it now. Then outputs are declared as a registers. Q and Q bar are the two registers next same the, the code will be same it will not differ just it the differ difference will be in one one condition so let me make it fast so that i can tell you what where the difference will be so case it is so now is 2 dig b if it is 0 0 then q should be equals to q and let us copy this so that we can paste it four times and the last is end case and next is end the module in the begin so if it is zero one so zero one then i should get it one dig b zero and if it is one zero then i should get it as one and if it is one one then i should get the q as previously what it was and it we should get it a negation and i have already told after this end case always my q bar should be equals to negation of q so that's the thing just save it now let us see where we got jk flop the same condition which i have told jk if it is zero zero then just let me save this if it is zero zero then it is no change where i have written here see it is no change if it is zero zero then it is it will be q same thing which i have written here it is q and if it is 1 0 it is 1 0 here then it is output is 1 and 0 1 then the output is 0 and 1 1 it is toggles means it is nothing but q bar so this is how we have done this jk flip flop now let us select this jk flip flop and let us simulate behavior check the syntax and go to simulate the behavior model so not wasting much time just simulate it by giving a few values i will be giving 0 1 and 1 1 that's it i will be giving in this and in the test bench in my next video in the test bench i will be giving all the values you can able to see there if you want to clearly see this see the outputs of this and so here we got the here we got the test bench now i will be giving Force constant as 0 1 just apply it 0 1 is nothing but just i will give the force clock as 1 okay then just uh, i'm making it to run and next okay let us see this output in the test bench this is how we will be writing the jk flip top code let us see the outputs in our test bench.